there, scientists. This week in science, we are learning all about crustaceans. Your paper reminds you that this, these are creatures with jointed legs. Now that's a funny way to say that their legs, oops, bend like our joints, our knees and our elbows and our wrists. And I want to show you a way that we can research things when we want to learn more about them. On your computer or your phone, you can use Get Epic to research lots of topics. This week, we're going to use it to research crustaceans. So up here in the search bar, I typed in what I want to learn more about, and then I hit search. I also chose that I wanted books that were nonfiction. That means they're real and true. When I peek over these books, I got really excited because this one is called About Crustaceans, and that was just what I wanted to share with you this week. So let's read that book together. Now remember, as we read, we're watching or we're listening for something that we want to write about on our paper that we learned about crustaceans. Crustaceans have a hard shell on the outside of their bodies. So if you look on your paper, each one of those creatures has a hard shell on the outside of their bodies. The hard shell protects the soft body of the crustacean. This is a, a calico crab. Oh, we forgot to look at the label on that last one. This one's called a California rock lobster. When a crustacean outgrows its shell, it sheds the old shell and grows a new one. So this northern lobster, when it outgrows this, this shell, it actually grows right out of it and leaves it behind. So you might sometimes find the shell of a creature on the beach or in the water. Crustaceans feel, smell, and taste with their antenna. Now I bet you remember those antenna are these pokey little guys that are coming out of its head. And it's saying it uses those for three things. To feel, like we feel with our hands. To smell, and to taste. Goodness, we use our hands, nose, and mouth for those things, and they just use their antenna. Some crustaceans' eyes are on stalks. So you can see right here that that's kind of like a tube that comes out of their head. Our eyes are in our face. Theirs come out, and they're on a stalk. This makes it easier for them to look around. This is a mantis shrimp. It kind of reminds me of a praying mantis, that green bug. Have you ever seen those? Most crustaceans have several pairs of legs. Some use them to walk. Others use them to dig, or, or excuse me, swim or dig. So you can see this guy is a hermit crab. It's a land hermit crab. This one's a lady crab. And this one is a sand fiddler crab. So this crab uses them for, uses its legs for crawling and walking and digging. This one uses it for swimming and walking. And this sand fiddler crab, I think, looks like he's digging down. Do you see that hole? He dug himself down. Legs with pinchers can be used for protection as well as gathering food. This blue crab has these bright red pinchers that he uses to protect himself. And crabs also use it to feed themselves. So if you check out some of the other videos of crabs eating, I think you'll find it really fun. Some crustaceans can regrow a leg that has been broken or bitten off by an enemy. So you might find a crab that has two different sized legs. One might be regrowing. This is the stone crab. Many crustaceans are predators. Let's think about what that means. 
There's predator animals and there's prey animals. The predators are the hunters. The prey are the ones that are getting eaten. Mon so many crustaceans are predators. They hunt and eat other animals. I see this green crab is hunting for these little fish. Some are scavengers, eating dead plants and animals. So that means they go and look around to find things that are already dead. So they don't hunt for them, they scavenge. This crab is called a ghost crab. Most crustaceans live in oceans. So when we talk about the bay by Bellingham, that's salt water, so is the ocean. These are called common goose barnacles. So we have a little bit different barnacles around here. These ones have a long neck to them. And then they have their barnacle outside with these little feeders that come out. Ours are, are more like little volcanoes on the rocks. I'll show you some pictures of that. Some live in streams, ponds, and lakes. This one is a crayfish. A few crustaceans live on land. We talked about the comparison to this guy last week. This is a pill bug, but he's actually a crustacean because he has those jointed legs. Crustaceans provide food for many animals and people. You can see the krill are these little crustaceans. They're very tiny, and that blue whale eats those krill by the millions. Crustaceans are an important part of our world. Can you see how they're part of the food chain for a lot of creatures? Okay. So let's talk a little more about a few of the crustaceans that are on your sheet this week. Let's start with the crab. The crab is in the crustacean family. It lives in the low tide zone. That means when the tide goes far out, that's where those crabs live. He uses sharp claws to grab their food and to protect them. We learned that in our book. This part's really fun and you'll see in a video. They grind their food and they don't have teeth. That means they use their, their jaws, you have these jaws, to just mash them. They eat plants, animals, and plankton. They grow a new shell under their old one. Mostly they walk sideways, and they have ten legs. They have these four on each side that are just regular legs, and then they have two pinchers. So we know that we have eight regular plus two more. And you can pause right here if you want to write down some information about crabs. Next, we have a hermit crab. Lots of you in groups talked about hermit crabs and how they move into the shells of other creatures. So I know that lots of you are familiar with hermit crabs already. They usually have a reddish, orange, or brown colored body. They have 10 legs, and two of those legs are claws. The left claw is larger and used to protect against predators. Hermit crabs use different types of abandoned shells to protect their soft body and they use gills for breathing. All right, here's our last crustacean. This is the barnacle. A barnacle is a crustacean that eats plankton, and a sh the shell is connected by overlapping plates. That means there's one plate, and then the next one comes over it just a little, and then that goes all the way around. It's kind of shaped like a little volcano. They glue themselves to rocks and to shells, and they just wait for food to come passing by in the water. They use a feathered um, legs that come up out of their shell, and they have little um, barbs on them, which is kind of like little pokey guys that come off, to pull the plankton out of the water. So I'll have a video that shows you how barnacles eat as well. So remember, you can pause on these slides so that you can write what you learned about crustaceans this week. Be sure to click on the other videos to watch these animals in action. Bye, scientists!